essentially what happened before the Big Bang. But you, you have to be careful with the language. So if you define the Big Bang really carefully as the time when the universe was very hot and very dense. And as I said, you, you can't argue with that because we can see it. When we imagine the beginning of the universe, our minds often leap straight to the Big Bang, the monumental event that supposedly launched everything into existence. Space, time, matter, and energy. We envision a colossal explosion erupting from a single point. But what if that moment wasn't the true beginning? What if it was merely a transition, a threshold between what once was and what now is? Brian Cox, the celebrated physicist known for merging poetic insight with scientific depth, has explored this unsettling notion that our universe may have arisen not from nothing, but from something far older, more mysterious, and perhaps more terrifying. To grasp this possibility, we must first understand what the Big Bang actually represents and what it doesn't. Contrary to popular belief, it wasn't an explosion in space. Rather, it was an expansion of space itself. Every point in the cosmos was once compressed into an inconceivably hot and dense state. Then, in a fraction of a second, that state expanded. Yet the Big Bang doesn't explain the ultimate origin of the universe. It only describes how the universe evolved from that early, dense state. The true beginning remains hidden, a blank space in our cosmic narrative. This ambiguity is where things grow eerie. Cox often stresses that the Big Bang might not mark the absolute beginning. Instead, it could be a kind of cosmic horizon beyond which we cannot see. But physics allows us to speculate. And if we do, we encounter unsettling possibilities. One such idea is the concept of a cyclic universe. One that doesn't begin or end, but pulses eternally through cycles of expansion and collapse. In this model, our universe might be only the latest iteration in an infinite series, each born from the collapse of the last, each destined to collapse and be born again. Here's where it gets more haunting. If a universe existed before ours, it may have been filled with stars, galaxies, even life. In its dying moments, it could have left behind echoes, ghostly fingerprints embedded in the fabric of our own cosmos. If the fundamental laws of physics remain consistent across these cycles, then some aspects of each universe may repeat. Others might be wildly different, or in a strange and chilling twist, they might repeat exactly. Another idea Brian Cox discusses is the multiverse theory the notion that our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic ocean. In some versions of this theory, particularly those linked to eternal inflation, new universes are constantly forming out of quantum chaos. That would mean the Big Bang was not the beginning of everything, only the beginning of our local reality. Before it existed an eternal inflation field, spawning infinite universes, each with its own laws, constants, and histories. And the most disturbing aspect of this? The possibility that there is no true origin, no singular first cause, just an infinite cascade of universes, one birthing another in an endless fractal pattern. In this kind of reality, meaning itself becomes fragile. Our universe, our entire existence, could be just a brief flicker in a vast, indifferent sea of quantum randomness. A fleeting accident, without purpose or direction. Digging deeper, some models suggest an even stranger idea that time itself is emergent. In other words, time didn't exist before the Big Bang because before may be a meaningless concept. Cox often points out this philosophical cliff edge. If time began with the Big Bang, then asking what came before is like asking what's north of the North Pole. There simply may not be a before. But if that's the case, how did the Big Bang happen at all? One possible answer lies in loop quantum cosmology, a theory that seeks to unite general relativity and quantum mechanics. According to this framework, the universe didn't originate from a singularity. Instead, it underwent a bounce. A prior universe, collapsing in on itself, never reached infinite density. Instead, it compressed to a minimum volume and then rebounded into expansion, what we now observe as the Big Bang. This raises provocative questions. What was that universe like? Was it vibrant and filled with life, or cold and empty, spiraling into death? If the physical laws are consistent, and if quantum information is never truly lost, then perhaps fragments of that previous universe linger in our own. 
Clues might lie hidden in the cosmic microwave background, subtle irregularities that defy standard explanations. Some scientists have even claimed to detect circular anomalies in the background radiation, possible bruises from a prior cosmos. If true, the idea that our universe has been born and reborn countless times is not only unsettling, it's humbling. It suggests our story may not be one of unique creation, but of endless repetition. A cosmic cycle playing out over and over on a stage that never changes. Cox has reflected on the philosophical implications of this. In a cyclic universe, beginnings and endings lose significance. What matters is not when the universe started, but how it behaves and perhaps what lies ahead. But what if the reality before the Big Bang was even stranger? Some theories, inspired by string theory and M-theory, propose that our universe was born from the collision of higher-dimensional entities called brains. In this vision, our universe exists on a three-dimensional membrane floating in a higher-dimensional space. Occasionally, two such membranes collide, releasing immense energy and spawning a new universe. The Big Bang, then, is merely the point of impact, one that may repeat. Another radical theory posits a pre-geometric phase, a reality without space, time, or matter. Instead, everything existed as raw information, an abstract web of quantum relationships. No distance, no direction, no duration. In this view, the Big Bang wasn't the start of matter, but the birth of structure, a transformation akin to ice forming from water. Time and space crystallized into being under the right conditions. If time and space can emerge, then the idea of before truly collapses. But something still must have existed. Perhaps it was a timeless mathematical framework, a sea of probabilities and pure logic waiting for complexity to awaken. And this is where the implications grow even more chilling. If reality at its core is not physical but mathematical, then everything we experience, our lives, our emotions, our memories, may be illusions formed from patterns in information. We are not living in a universe of solid substance, but in a dynamic dance of numbers and relationships. And these patterns do not care about us. They do not seek meaning or direction. They simply follow rules. This, perhaps, is the greatest terror. Not chaos or destruction, but indifference. A cosmos that isn't cruel, but is utterly unconcerned with meaning. Cox frequently reminds us that our understanding is constrained by our biology, our perceptions, our fleeting lifespans. We interpret the universe through a narrow window shaped by survival not truth. The cosmos isn't built to conform to our intuitions. It often shatters them. We yearn for clear beginnings and tidy endings, but reality may offer none. Instead, it offers transformation without origin and change without conclusion. This is the profound, unsettling message beneath Brian Cox's calm reflections. What came before the Big Bang may not simply be unknown, it may be unknowable. Not because we haven't discovered the answer yet, but because our universe itself may be unequipped to even pose the question. It's like trying to explain color to someone who has never seen. The very idea of before might not exist in any meaningful way. And yet, there is beauty in this mystery. That we can ask these questions at all is extraordinary. From entropy, chaos, or raw logic emerged life. Consciousness. Minds capable of wondering what came before time itself. That may be the most astonishing part of all. We are part of a universe that could be unimaginably ancient or fleeting beyond belief. But we are aware. And in that awareness, we find something resembling meaning. Whether the cosmos before the Big Bang was a dying universe, a colliding brain, or a timeless ocean of probabilities, one truth remains. Reality is far stranger than we ever imagined.